All right. So we are done with Anaconda installation in our computer. Now we need to open Anaconda prompt into administrator mode. We need to open this into administrator mode because many times we might need to read write permission in a system. So if you don't open it into administrator mode, installation of libraries might get failed because of the permission error. So now we need to navigate into the folder where we want to create our project. So let's go ahead and navigate to that folder. What we need to do here, a cd and then forward slash, it will take you to the root directory, then the cd and then finally the users and the username is Lakshmi here and then we need to change its folder to the desktop. Now here I'm gonna create a new directory that's the data visualization. Okay so this directory is created now let's go ahead and change this working directory to data visualization. Okay all right now we have came to the data visualization now you need to write here Jupyter notebook all right once you type here Jupyter notebook it will open Jupyter notebook into your preferred browser so it has opened here Jupyter notebook in my preferred browser now I am going to zoom this browser so that you can see it properly I have zoomed it to 200 percent all right so since this is empty directory now what you need to do you need to click on new and then python 3 it will open here a new notebook and once it open a new notebook you need to click on file and then rename all right so to rename it what we are going to do here we are just going to write here the name of this file I'm just going to write it as a Jupyter shortcuts all right all right so you need to first understand how you can execute any cell in Jupyter notebook so the first of all you have three options you can make a combination of shift and enter then control and enter and then alt and enter and you can comment in any cell with the hash mark like this okay this is comment now you see I'm gonna press here shift and the enter so with shift and then enter it will execute first cell and then it will enter into the another cell then I'm gonna hit the enter now it will enter into the code cell then again here I'm gonna say that this is another comment now I'm going to hit here control and the enter now it is executed but you see here this is not uh, uh, went below of this cell so once again you see here with the control and the enter it will execute that particular cell but it will not advance all right but if you press here alt and enter you will see here a new after executing the current cell a new cell will be uh, inserted below that cell to understand this let's go ahead and select the cell number one and here I'm going to press control and the enter now you see here it is increasing that 12 13 14 times executed but if I press here alt then you will see here the 15 will be executed and it will change to the 16 and then new cell will be inserted below that 16 now uh, sorry let's select this one now you see here that is executed and new cell is inserted if I again press here alt and the enter you will see here these new cell are being inserted all right now let's go ahead and start with shortcuts of Jupyter notebook so we are going to learn Jupyter notebook shortcuts in this lesson so the first of all you need to understand overall uh, the structure of this Jupyter notebook 
you can create a new file from here and the file you can also download from here like download h in notebook pdf python etc and then you can edit your cells etc like you can delete cell and you can merge multiple cells together and then in the web you can toggle this header like this okay and you can toggle this toolbar like this and in the insert you can insert the cell above like this or insert cell below like this and in this cell you can run all the cell or some particular only selected cell and you can also toggle the outputs and the scrolling and you can also a uh, clear output for any particular any particular cell and these are known as a cell and from here you can interrupt the kernel you can restart and you can restart and the clear the output all right now let me show you how you can work on this let's say if you want to import something okay so here import string now you see it has imported the string here and you can print here a string it says that a string is a string dot py there is library in, in anaconda 3 and now i'm going to introduce you uh, some keyboard shortcuts and those keyboard shortcuts you can get from help and here keyboard shortcuts these are very important keyboard shortcuts and especially uh, when you are coding uh, working on a very large project then you need these keyboard shortcuts these are very handy and efficient for example let's say if you want to insert new code cell above this cell how you can do that you can click on a in your keyboard only a without any combination of control shift alt etc then it will um, insert a new cell above of this particular cell all right so let's go ahead and press a once you press a you will see here a is printed here this happens because my cursor is selected this line number one input number one so what i need to do i need to first click on escape so in your keyboard click on escape once you uh, press escape and uh, now you see there is no cursor uh, uh, selected any of these input now you can click uh, now you can uh, uh, the press a in your keyboard you see here a new cell is being inserted and at the same way you can also delete these cells by pressing x in your keyboard so press here x now it is being deleted and in the same way you can copy any particular cell by pressing c so uh, let me click uh, press c and now you can paste it with v so you see here v you can select any of these uh, cell and it will uh, paste that content below of that selected cell all right now the another very important uh, important shortcut if you want to add new cell below of any particular cell you can click uh, you can press on b you see here with the b that's in the below now you see new line is being inserted here in this jupyter notebook let's say if you want to give a heading to any particular uh, any particular cell how you can do you need to select either here uh, the cell and uh, then you can make this cell type as markdown once you make it markdown now the now, now the code cannot be executed in this cell for example if i do like this import string you will get just like import string it is printed as a text all right now if you put here a single hash it this is heading one and if you put here double hash this is heading two and triple hash this is heading three 
all right and the four time sorry the four time has this is heading four now you see the heading two three and in the same way in the same way okay now let's go ahead and see what is the keyboard shortcut to convert any cell into the markdown you need to select that cell but do remember your cursor should not be the inside this cell like here it is blinking either you can press outside of this like here somewhere here then you will not get any blinking cursor inside this cell then you need to press here m in your keyboard you press the m in your keyboard now this cell has been converted into markdown and if you press y then it will be converted into again in code cell all right so let's go ahead and press m and now once you press m after that you can press in your keyboard like one two three and the four to insert the heading one two and the three so i am gonna press one so it will insert here the heading one then i can come here and type here heading one all right so this shortcut you can see here in your edit keyboard shortcut sorry in your uh, the keyboard shortcuts now if you press here only f it will find and the replace control shift f open the command palette etc so these are the uh, the keyboard shortcuts which you can use and it will really make you uh, fast and efficient while coding and working on large project all right perfect now if you want to insert just a text inside a cell you need to press m in your keyboard and then just hit the enter and start writing here you can insert normal text if you want to highlight some particular text then how you can do that you can put here this title okay and uh, this is just above the tab key and uh, left side of numerical key one okay special text now you see here this special text is showing you a special kind of the representation all right so in the next lesson we will start working with the python thanks for watching this one see you in next lesson